So, Ollie from Bring Me The Horizon, how are you? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm very well. Thanks for asking. I always like a polite musician. That's a good start. I've got some stats here. You are the front man of the biggest band on MySpace. I've not been on MySpace for, for a while. How is Tom? Tom, he's doing all right, man. I think he took a bit of a hit after Facebook and that and got a bit depressed, but I think he's coming back. Has he gone from thumbs up, Tom, to sort of well, halfway veering towards a thumb down? I'm not sure where he's from where last time I saw him. You regularly play to 5,000 strong crowds around the world. Your clothing range sells 3,000 t-shirts a week. Exactly how embarrassed should I be to not really have any idea who you are? Um, not that embarrassed, because I don't think any of those facts are that true. I think we got these from your own website. Really? Have you made this up? Have you been elevating Someone your... Someone might have been telling porkies are. How many t-shirts are you selling? I'm not sure about that one, actually. Is it a misprint? Have we added an extra zero? Might, yeah, there's three or... Because of your sort of designing expertise, I thought it'd be quite good for me to get a customised T-shirt from you. I'm wearing one today. Let me just pop this off. Hang on a second. Oh, bit of belly on show there. Save that for the bank later. Um, there is your blank canvas. I should warn you at this stage, I've got very sensitive nipples, all okay. right? So I'll, try and steer clear I'll, of them. i the nipples. Have you got any idea at this stage what you're going to go for, or will you just leap in? What I usually always draw is probably not suitable for... For broadcast, yeah. would, would you normally, because my instinct, if given any blank canvas, is to draw a penis. Yeah, the same. Are you going to draw a penis on me, or are you going to go for something else? I'll, I'll, I'll stay away from the penis and probably just go for a, a drawing of something like the hedgehog. I'd like that. Right, off you go. Now, your previous single, oh, there was one of the nipples, oh, straight away, you've gone in there, I said to be careful. Nipples are quite close, yeah. Your fans are very good at voting for you in lots of polls online. Yeah. Have you ever considered channeling them en masse for evil? Um. No. No, you've never considered that. <laughs> I don't maybe, know what kind of evil you could... I don't know, really. You could get them to maybe vote for someone terrible on The X Factor. Maybe they could have yeah. been behind uh, Wagner. Or yeah. you could get them to, like when Blue Peter rename uh, one of their pets, you could get it to go for something uh, slightly euphemistic. I'll keep that in mind now. Yeah? Now that you've said it. If you were to name could come of it. a pussycat on Blue Peter, what would you call it? Uh, Chester. I mean, that's not exactly as filthy as I was thinking, but we'll take it. Now, your current album, Carry On, is what you're going for there. Bit of blue yeah, for yeah, Sonic. Yeah. So your new album's called There Is A Hell, Believe Me, I've Seen It. There Is A Heaven, Let's Keep It A Secret. That's the one. Is that the longest album name in the world? I have no idea. Definitely content, I'm sure. Yeah. It's, it's actually not. It's quite down there. I've got the longest album title in the world. Really? It's by Chumbawamba, believe it or not. Now, uh, their one, should you care to know, is this. The boy bands have won, and all the copyists and the tribute bands and the TV talent show producers have won. If we allow our culture to be shaped by mimicry, respect, you should never try to freeze culture. What you can do is recycle that culture. Take your older brother's hand-me-down jacket. But don't just regurgitate creative history or hold art and music and literature as fixed, untouchable and kept under glass. The people who try to guard any particular form of music are... Service. Because the only thing that you can do to music that will damage it is not change it, not make it your own, because then it dies, then it's over, then it's done, and the boy bands have won. That's 156 words, 876 characters, so you're well behind that. Yeah. How did they fit that on the spine? I think they had giant CDs. You know, when they give a giant yeah. check at a charity event, they so, basically have a jumbo CD. It's a good job they probably didn't sell any. Then. It was just a nightmare to distribute that album. Um, so where are we up to here? We've got a bit of... bit of. Oh, the blue's kind of done. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not great. Gone back in no. with the black. Any other colours you want to add in? Um, I feel like this... this Around the belly button here is looking particularly blank. I think almost you could scrawl something else there. I'll colour in the tab on his tongue. Now, do you believe in a heaven and a hell? Uh, no. Do you regularly blaspheme? Yeah. I mean, we had to, when we did our life thing today, we had to uh, not swear, so I had to change all the F words for flipping. Why did you choose flipping over, say, fricking? It was between flipping and chuffing. Yeah, I like chuffing. I would have gone with chuffing. It's a shame it's too late and it's already done. You can go yeah. back and redub it. Well, say the word chuffing, we'll add it in later. Chuffing. Very good. Screen the word chuffing, we'll add it in later. Chuffing. That is not a scream. What is your idea of heaven? Were there to be one? I reckon it'd be pretty cool if, I don't know, you, you went into a room and just had a good, like a little chat with Jesus and he answered you a couple of questions about life and the universe and stuff like that. Let's imagine that for a second I'm Jesus. I'm not saying I am. That's for you to make up your own mind about at the end of this. Yeah. Um, what would you ask me? Um, Ollie, hi. Welcome to heaven. All right. 
Um, I'm less hairy than you imagined, right? Yeah. And I've ditched the sandals. What would you like to know? Um... Don't waste this opportunity, remember, because... How did dinosaurs die? Uh, sort of big comet came in. Combination of like comet flying in from outer space, big impact on Earth, destroyed them like quite a lot of radioactivity because of that impact. And also just the climate wasn't great at that time, going through a very sort of ice age. Um, so those things combined made them die out, sadly. I was never a big fan of them anyway. <laughs> personalities. I love dinosaurs, man. You're never going to bring them back then? Don't intend to. We did dabble with the idea and then I saw Jurassic Park and it put me right off. Um, why did you invent That's an excellent <laughs> That's an excellent question um, and one which I'll have to defer you to a higher power, essentially dad, god for that one later. Change that one because I won't be able to broadcast it. Why did you invent <laughs> Again, not broadcastable. Oh. Give me one more. Um, oh God. You just mean... blasphemed in front of me, so that's a bit... Sorry. What's hell like? It's awful. Have you ever been to the Little Chef just off the M1? Uh, no. It's like that, but the catering is much worse. About Wimpy? I would say that Wimpy just takes the edge. Just marginally better than hell. What's Satan like? Can I ask that? Yeah, uh, I mean, we don't get on. No. Uh, some people like him. Uh, but... Uh, catch him on a good day he can be all right he's not as bad as they make out yeah yeah that's cool he's terrible though because he regularly gives people a nipple cripple and it's um it's really not pleasant must be bad for you sensitive now remember currently playing jesus oh. not me and i'm out of character now that statement makes absolute sense now we should talk about the tattoos i can see quite a few of them there i presume that they carry on below the neckline of that t-shirt correct yeah someone told me you had a fairly awesome belly tattoo is it inappropriate to ask to see it uh, I guess not. There it is. So what is that? Describe what's going on there. It's a bit of an eagle. Yeah. Uh, a shark. A wolf. Now, I've heard that you also have a male reproductive organ tattooed on your leg. Is this true? It's gone. Has it gone? It's gone. It gone? What happened bit. to it? You woke up one morning, where's the penis gone? It just got a bit of an eye, so uh, my girlfriend weren't too happy with it, so we got it covered up. Did you ever think about getting a leg tattooed on your penis? No. Because that would have been great. It would it? be great. But it's gone now. Have you tattooed over it or do you have to like go for laser surgery? No, it's a big tattoo over it now. What have you tattooed over it? An even bigger penis. <laughs> it's a woman with a... Penis. It's a woman with a, a big jaguar head. You didn't have to like try and work in the phallus into the new drawing. If you look close... Make it a nose. If you look close you can see the ball sack and it's a bit of a hair. Tattooed hair or actual leg hair? Uh, I mean there's probably a bit of leg hair there but... Um, that I meant the, the woman's hair. I see, because that would have been the way to do it, wouldn't it? If you've got the ball sack there, is to, using your own hair, is to wax all the other hair off your leg. Yeah. Just have real human hair growing out of the tattooed ball sack. Saves a bit of ink as well. Would have been incredible. Now, is it true that you were charged by police for urinating on a fan? It is true, yeah. Are you allowed to talk about this? You, you gave me the eyes then of like, why has he brought this up? Well, it's always one of, it's not, it's not my favourite question. So tell me more. Um, there's not much more to tell apart from the, the charges were dropped because um, it didn't happen. But oh, it didn't happen. It didn't actually happen, but I was charged. You were well, I, yeah, I was charged. Yeah. Were you framed? Was it someone I was else's? Framed. It was. It was someone else's. We. If you could piss on a fellow musician, who would it be and why? Um, maybe Robbie Williams. Why Robbie Williams? He does that thing with his eyebrow. It's very annoying. What's the thing he does? I know, he's just got like a weird smug face, a very smug wog, yeah. Now, I'm sure you get asked this a lot. The name of your band, eh, I, I hope this is true, was named after the last line in Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Did you consider any other end lines of films before you got to that one? It's better than any other band names we were circling about. It, what other ones were, were pitched? What was <laughs> on the flip chart? There was Stand and Fight, Murder on the Dance Floor. Was that really going to be one? Yeah. Thank God you didn't go with that. Not bad, isn't it? Yeah, when you sort of when your band references Sophie Ellis Baxter in its name, that doesn't necessarily suggest that things are going to go too rosily. Yeah, it's bad times. Isn't it? I've got some last lines of films here. I thought I could suggest them as band names. Perhaps if you yeah. ever decide to quit this That'd band and start a new one. Um, uh, also, we can make it into a game should we choose by you telling me what film it's from. So, <clears throat> to boldly go 
where no one has gone before. This one's easy. I've started you on an easy one here. Is it easy? It is easy. To boldly go where no one has gone before. It's not space, obviously, is it? It's not. It's close. It is set in space. Yeah. Any other ones? Apollo 13. It's Star Trek. Oh. That's an obvious one. Star Trek's the worst. How about this one? Roads, where we're going. We don't need roads. Back to the future, innit? Yeah. That would be a good name for a band. Yeah. And finally, who am I? I'm Spider-Man. Is it Batman? It was Pride and Prejudice, that one. That sort of brings us to the end of our chat. Uh, you need to sign this bad boy. Uh, so pick a colour. Now, how much do you normally retail your T-shirts for? Um, I think you got about 20 quid. 20 quid. So if I put this on the internet for sale, how much do you think I'll get for that? About 20p. 20p, you think? Yeah. That's rubbish. I don't know why I bothered turning up. Sorry, Mum. It's too late now, isn't it? Too late for an apology.